Frederick Blair, a Nova Scotia insurance salesman, formed another search party in 1893. Their worst suspicions were confirmed. They found the stone channels led all the way from the beach to the money pit. No wonder they could never pump it dry. The last charge seemed to blast through into a subterranean cavity. They hoped this had finally stopped the flow of water. To check the results, they poured concentrated dye into the money pit and kept a close watch on the shoreline. The dye came up, but to their amazement, on both sides of the island. They finally realized the entire island had been engineered to continually flood the money pit.